go with that big boy damage. <laughs> hype for bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> Who's ready for bed? Yeah. Oh my gosh, we got some big damage coming out here. Oh, big damage. Even more big damage, <laughs> and that grab's gonna bring out some big damage. Oh, am I that bad? <laughs> Sometimes. Oh. <laughs> I've made the joke of. Maybe we should have him drink a game out of it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Raz is like, we no. die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, jumping into the game here. Uh, losers finals. This is a best of five. Tries to go for the dig. Not going to connect. He actually just jumps right out of it. A lot of patience from both these players right now. Oh, yeah. You can see there's um, a lot of respect back and forth. Right. Yeah, no, there definitely is. Um, ooh, I like that hop over. Yeah, but uh, Dibs really is trying hard to find his opening here. Getting the vulnerable frames. Oh, trying to go for the earthquake. Yeah. No punish though. Oh, we just did the same sound. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, so the thing is, Dibs is just—he's—he's he's doing a good job putting the effort in, but he. Like, in certain situations, he's trying a little too hard, and in certain situations, I feel like he's respecting a little too much. Yeah, I can see that for sure. Uh, it, it's, it's curious. Good catch there. Yeah, that was super solid. Gets the uh, field change. <gasps> Sharknado. No oh, follow up. Missed it. Tries to go for the second not one. He's going to get grabbed. Yeah. Not death not, yet. Not, okay. <gasps> oh, tries to get the follow up. Gets the vulnerable frames. That's. Wow. Nice job from yeah, Dibs. Yeah, there we go. And Dibs just needs to keep playing that patient. Like, he needs to have the patience, but he needs to also be ready for those openings a little more. For sure. All right, tries to go for the pizza cutter. Nice yeah. counter through that. Now, can uh, if I recall, uh, Dibs can dig right underneath all that, can he? Um, the mid, the mid stuff he can. If she shoots the low one, I believe it catches. This is so good to see from Dibs with this patience. Oh, that clash that he won. Nice job. Getting him against the corner. Oh, Tries to go for the early grab, though. Yep. Try Sharknado. Not going to work out for him. Yeah, um... If anyone in chat can tell me, uh... Can, can say what stuff of Gardevoirs can actually hit Dig, that'd be great. All right, tries to go with the Pizza Cutter once yeah. again. Dibs does have double buffs up. So if he can get some damage off, this is going to be really big for him. Yeah, but he just needs... Oh, and they're gone. Yep. <laughs> All right, pinning him in the corner. This is super smart. Good jump there, though. Um, getting out of that pin situation. <sighs> Tries to go for the stone edge. All right, yep. this burst That's will activate energy ball. He didn't have to shield that, which was good. Nope. The iframes, uh, he was close enough to energy ball to get oh. to the iframes. Ooh, a lot of respect. Oh, yeah. Well, neither player in that situation, neither player wants to really push a button. Oh, you can see it on Utah's face. He's like, how? Yeah. But yeah, neither player wants to push a button when you're that close. Because yeah. whoever pushes a button loses in, that, in well, that situation. Well, Utah was doing that. He was pushing lots of buttons. He was throwing tons of projectiles. Yeah. But, but that was, you know, when he was spaced a little bit. Uh, when they're like face to face, it, it becomes the. Who's going to push first? Because if either one of them pushes a button and that button's even slightly minus on block, you're dead. Yeah. Nice job from Dibs. He's finding his way in. Gets the grab. All right. I like this. Using Mew for a lot of opportunities yep. just to get himself a little bit of synergy and those double buffs right now, which is big. Ah, oh, tries to go to Sharknado once again. Yep. Nice little bait out. Kyle kind of pushing himself into the corner. I mean, he has nowhere else to go, really. Yeah. Nice JX from Dibs. Gets him against the wall, and the wall's flat. I was going to say... Oh, wow. No vulnerable okay. frames. I didn't expect... Okay, oh. good CADC there. Oh, they're talking mid-match. Yeah. Of course. I mean, I was talking mid-match oh. with both of them as well. This is big damage. Dibs now in the corner. Does get the pizza, pizza cutter, cutter, though. Yeah. Bring it more or less to uh, first hit wins in this situation. Yeah, Mew is coming up. But look at the time. 12 seconds left on the clock. All right. Smart move there, though, from Dibs to... That yeah, attack up is fine. He just needs to be able to get in. Uh, Ninetales not going to allow it, though. Can like, he dig underneath that is the question. Nope. Ninetales screwed him. Kyle won this because of Ninetales. Yep. A very, very solid play from Kyle. Or from Utah. He's going to take game number one in yeah. this best of five. Yeah. 
and I think the fin sets off sets off Ninetales because it sits so low. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. that it will actually set it off. That makes sense. I you know back when I first started, I joined the Pokémon scene here in Utah. Uh, this was such a crazy match to see between these two guys. Mm -hmm. They are so fun to watch. I'm actually surprised Kyle didn't grab that. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> But he did punish Sharknado, just barely missing. Yep. Utah doing a fantastic job of just keeping him yeah. out okay, right now. Okay, so too much. Oh, oh, unfortunate for Dibs. Uh, Utah's grab just a little faster there. Nice job with the earthquake cancel. Oh, he should have just done it one and done there. <gasps> nice. Beautiful. Job. Calls out uh, Utah's CADC there with the grab. I like the mix up from Dibs. That was really clever. But he's once again put in a, in a really bad position. But he nice. does follow up. He does have the attack buff. Beautiful job. Wow. 75% of Utah's health gone in one combo. <gasps> nice All right, job. Gets, yeah, gets the upper slash. Oh, <laughs> just right in the grab. Wow, beautiful play there by Dibs. He brought that back so quickly. That 75% health combo <laughs> thanks to the attack buff. That was... Beautiful. Now Dibs is sitting in a pretty position here. Good call on the uh, on the tech. Gets the punish. For sure. You in the face? I yeah. don't agree with that. I don't think I think that was a, a misinput. Tries to go with the pizza cutter. Utah knows better. Yep. We were talking about this earlier. Ooh, nice job. Pushing him back just a little bit. Air counter, of course. Really solid, but he does yeah. decide to go yeah. for the burst. Oh, yeah. He wants to take this round. He can. And you can't really blame him. Both players are actually opting to go for burst right now. Right when he's in the air, that's when you do something. Yep, going to push him back just yeah. a little bit. Oh, this is... Oh, in the beautiful. Corner. Yep, just going to go for the wall, to the corner combo. That's Not all he can do right now. It's about uh. to end. Oh! <gasps> Wow! He just gets at the last second. That did one x one damage, <laughs> and then the thirty damage for being a wall splat. <laughs> really clever though from Dibs. Yeah, there was really no point in burning his burst there when he got all that extra damage. Yeah, but I mean the damage coming up from Utah right now. He is in burst or not burst? Um, rage. Oh no! And barrier is gonna equal out the rounds here. That was. I Still it was so yeah. good from Dibs. I think Dibs there expected a, a grab. Yeah. Um, no, Dibs, you should have picked up that middle piece. Oh, okay. I but stopped that's the good. Up. That's a lot of a meter synergy. there. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's getting a little bit more there with Mew. Just. Dibs has a hard time just counter attacking and CDCing through those. Yeah. Oh. oh, the trap, unfortunately, stopping that. Dibs had the punish. Once again, tries to go for the Sharknado. It's not going to get him in there like he wants. He needs to CADC through those. Well, see, that's something Dibs almost never does is CADC. It's just he knows how to do it. It's just not something he does. It's a really useful technique. Oh, I know it is. I know you know. I know you know. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, the wall spider, unfortunately. Attacking it on Wake Up. Very smart. Tries to go for the Earthquake. He does have just a little bit left. <gasps> Catches it. Oh, oh, he was not expecting that. No. Oh, nice job from Dixie. This, is, this should... Get... If yep. he pops Mew here. Yep. Here we go. Tries to go for the Sand Tomb. Going to get pushed back by Ninetales. Yep. Not We're bad. We're going to do this. Mm -hmm. That does not get rid of Ninetales. That's actually interesting. 11 seconds left on the clock. Dibs has to get some sort of chip. No! Seven seconds left. He just needs to activate burst. Just activate, just activate burst. Oh, no. He just needed burst. Yeah. He needed to burst in those moments because he would have gone through them. Uh -huh. Even the chip damage. Yeah, no, he just needed the chip damage there. Mm -hmm. It would have burned the clock, and he would have gone the chip damage to win that. Mm -hmm. Yep. And you saw Utah panicking. He was throwing a lot of panic projectiles. Yeah, because he was lower on health. He had about 10 health lower. Like I was quick watching. The right, and he needed here. chip. Yeah, if Dibs had just gotten the chip damage there, as soon as the 
the face shifted. Mm -hmm. Honestly, even burst. Um, oh, that uh, looks like some controller uh, malfunctions or something. Yeah. Utah being the nice guy, letting him do that. Well, it, it looked like his controller stopped reading mm -hmm. right right in the beginning there. Yeah. And since it was the beginning of the match and nothing had happened yet. Yeah, that was fine. Yeah. But at the same time, I mean, you, thankfully we do have a nice uh, group of people here that do allow such things. If some mm -hmm. people were super, you know, competitive about it, be like, no, man, no way. You know, I win that because you quit out. So, but, you know, in the end, it is Tio's decision. So. Well, I mean, here locally, I don't care. Yeah. Um, no, I almost wonder if Dibs wanted... Yeah, that's what I wondered. Mm. If he accidentally, accidentally hit. Yes. Continue battle. Continue, yeah. Like, he looked down at his controller. I think he meant to push... He tried to push down an A. And it didn't work. Yet. And it didn't read. I've noticed that sometimes. Stuff... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, he is going to switch to Dark Right. Both those matches were still really close, Yeah, though. no, I really think he should have stuck with... Um, I know he was getting frustrated with it, but I really think he should have stuck with it. Tries to get the counter. Nice, nice job catching the mobile frames. What I really love is Dibs knows how to build uh, the energy around him. You can see yeah. he's already got two of them. Now he's got three, and he loves to use those for double buffs on himself, which I, I think is an excellent idea. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, you can get some health back, but man, look at the damage coming out from Utah right now. Yep. Now he's not setting up any traps, surprisingly. Um, I think he's... He's worried about it being a little too slow to be able to actually get in, mm -hmm. or get the hits, because any armor-piercing one will go through him. Oh, he is trying hard to get in, but Energy Ball going to hit him a little delayed. Yeah. This is match point for Utah right yeah, now. I honestly think he should have stuck with Guard Jump. I think so, too. He had a great presence in both games. Yeah. Um, he just made a few fatal mistakes, that's all. Yep. He had adjusted his gameplay, which he can still Hear that, or I wouldn't have mind seeing Sword here, either. Yeah, I think Sword would have been really cool, actually. Nice, nice. job. Puts him in yep. nightmare mode. Yep, bad moon rising. Oh, oh that, that should have just a grab. grab. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, if he gets if he gets the uh, nightmare mode grab, that is gonna be disgusting. It may just kill if he gets a crit too. Yeah. But well they... he should have just done the dash up grab <laughs> there. But I think he wanted to keep Bad Moon Rising going. Uh, Ooh, interesting choice from Utah there. He is put into Nightmare Mode now. Yeah. I like how you call it Bad Moon Rising. I like that name. It's a good name. But I also like Nightmare Mode. So, forgive me. <laughs> Teleporting away from his, his previous there. Bringing him in closer. Nice. Is he going to burst on Wake Up? Well, or, Utah is. He's going for the kill. Yep. <gasps> oh, 10 HP left. Tries to get him with the claws. Oh. You can see he's he's pretty scared. Can't blame him. Does he disappear um, in time? He does. Yes. Get gets the, the grab, grab behind. Boom. That was beautiful. Yes. Him. Perfect timing. Very clean. Good bait on his part to just use that to immediately pop. Because he had to have buffered that. Like, done in immediate. I'm going to switch there. Yeah. Oh, nice. nice teleport into grab. Look at those long legs. <laughs> well, yeah. Didn't you know that uh, Dark Rise Bayonetta? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, he does have four energy for himself. Uh, what are we supposed to call those pellets? Hakumanu pellets? <laughs> I I don't know. what. I'm just calling energy. Uh, yeah. All right. Dib's putting on a lot of pressure. Oh. But, or, uh, Utah. That's a low one. Nightel's coming out there. Oh, Nitro right tries to punish it. This could oh, be big damage. The CADC into another CA. <laughs> uh, oh, Teleports gets the grab. Gets grab. This is going to be a burst for him. Yep. Solid job. Yep, and he's going to use it right here, right now. He has to. Okay, activating you. Smart. He backs away. All right, burst coming up for Dibs as well. Uh, for ah, Freak, Utah. Yep. Oh, yep. He was on to him this time. Oh, oh! But not that one. 
but it's not gonna be enough. 16 seconds left on the clock. This is the same mistake we saw last time. <gasps> but he catches! Nice job Dibs from taking Dibs. it. All right, so he's not out for the count just yet. No. He has to make a 3-0 comeback, yeah. which has been seen before in this Oh, yeah, it's possible. It's tough, but it's possible. Now the problem for Dibs is he's locked into Dark Ride, which yep. we could see a Libre pick. We could. We'll see. From Utah. You can see it on his face. He's got a two. He's got a, he's got a one win lead right now. Yep. Okay, so he feels confident in what he can do. Yep. So I feel like he's going to switch up characters, see the differences, see if he needs to go back to Guard of War or not. Right. He may even go for Shandler. Utah, how did you lose to a Dark Ride? <laughs> um, he, out, he got outplayed. <laughs> We didn't see any. We we only saw one burst that entire. Yeah, uh, game. but I, I'll be honest. He ended up getting outplayed. He did. Uh, he did switch back he's, to Gardevoir. He might have chosen support. Uh, Pachirisu is my guess. We'll see. Um, Dibs wasn't really relying on. Projectiles. Emoga. Oh, okay. Smart option. Smart yeah. Option. Yeah, he wasn't really relying on the projectiles, so Pachi really wasn't necessary. Now, like for me against him, for instance, where he loves to zone me, sure. Or he loves to try to, anyways. <laughs> Alright, bringing him close with the claws, getting a little bit of chip damage, not bad. Tearing a rift in time, smart. Oh, oh. tries to catch vulnerable frames. Oh, got the trap. Dibs having a hard time regaining himself yeah, right now. Yeah, right there, Dibs just needed to block. Because Utah wouldn't have been able to grab. The question is, does Dibs decide to use this moment to regain some HP? He could, but he's, he's got too much pressure on him right now. Yep. Yep. Utah's caught on to uh, his wants, his wanting to jump. Yeah, for sure. All right, Dibs in a really tough position. He's got to find some way to make the comeback. All right, nice little bit of damage. Yeah. Oh. Tries to disappear. Yeah. No. It looks like Utah's more or less just caught on to how Dibs is playing Dark Ride. Yeah. You can see a lot of jumping coming out from him right now. Yeah. I'm surprised we're not seeing more anti-airs, though. He, I think he's looking more towards the damage and catching the fall damage. The mm -hmm. damage by having him come low. Which is really smart, yeah. actually. And, uh, honestly, oh, there it there is. Oh, there it is. 3 1 against Dibs. Completely different play style. Utah totally dominant that game. Yeah, no, no, no. Like, like I said, he completely figured out the play style.